All right, gang, welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. Today we're going to be doing this sweet 59 Caddy from Hot Wheels. This particular um, version of this casting came out in 2005. It's got a really awesome uh, metal flake purple paint job on it. And then it has this cool um, pinstripe kind of tiki design on the roof and everything. Um, I really love this casting. I always have. 59 Caddy, super cool car. Uh, this one comes from Hot Wheels with our, kind of a chopped roof on it already, and it's already slammed on the on the ground. Just has a really awesome look to it. I did do one of these cars a few years ago. I never did a video of it on the channel. Uh, it was just an old thrift store fine car, and I just kind of did some detailing on it and stuff. Um, this car, we're going to do kind of the same thing, but I, this time you'll actually get to see um, what I do to it. So since this car has such a cool paint job, we'll take a closer look at it, get this thing cracked open. Got this thing at the Iola Car Show um, in 2019, July of 2019. That video is on the channel if you want to check that out. Cool show if you want to go to that. And I've been dying to do something with this since then. It's just kind of been sitting on the back burner. As you can see, this thing has just a wicked uh, pinstripe design on the hood and the roof and the trunk. And it's actually like a tiki head. Here's the eyes and then the mouth goes around the back window. It's very cool. Um, so we're not going to do anything... Um, with the paint on this car because it's pretty much to me already like as cool as you could hope to do it i love purple and i really like dig the pinstripe job that they did on this thing but what we are going to do on this car is a wheel swap i'm not really a big fan of these wheels um they're kind of like a spoke looking wheel uh, i'm gonna do something try to give the car a little bit more attitude uh, I might do a little bit of detailing on the interior, uh, detail the chassis out, and then I want to do like some cool, uh, big, obnoxious like flamethrower um, exhaust tips on the back of this thing, uh, which is what I did on my original 59 Caddy. It worked out really cool. I think it's going to look awesome on this car. It already sits just perfect, has a really nice look to it. I think this thing's going to be super cool. I know you guys are going to dig it, so I'll get the thing torn apart, show you guys what's going on on the inside of this car, and we'll start uh, tearing it apart and doing some customizing. All right, gang, back on our 59 Caddy. Made a little bit of progress on the car. Um, obviously, I got the car torn apart now, and I'm just kind of mocking it up right now. Um, I decided to go with these wheels from Hot Wheels, which I use, I've used them on quite a few builds. Um, I just like them because they give it a kind of a nice vintage look and the, they've got white walls on them. So that's nice for kind of doing like uh, traditional style cars, 50s cars. And the wheels kind of have an old uh, vintage industrial look to them, which I kind of like. Um, taking a look at this body though, um, this is a really nice casting from Hot Wheels and this body features things such as a chopped roof, shaved door handles, and uh, just really nice detailing. really like this casting. Um, the only things I've done so far to the chassis is uh, put these wheels on and then um, I did the white or the wheel wells in a satin white um, just because I like that upholstered wheel well look which was kind of popular to do on customs back in the 50s um, and then I also did the interior in a two-tone black and white just to help make that purple pop the interior was originally just all black um, so basically all that I have left to do now is uh, finished detailing the bottom of the chassis. Uh, I'm going to do some exhaust on here and a little bit of detailing on the body. And then uh, we'll just make a little bit more progress on the car and we'll go from there. Okay, we're working on the chassis of our 59 Caddy. Um, it's coming along pretty good. 
Uh, right now I'm in the process of detailing the chassis out. Uh, most things that are still left chrome at this point are going to be um, silver. The engine's going to get detailed and then I still have some more black to do up here. Uh, and the rear end I didn't finish painting. Uh, and then you can see <clears throat> the contrast. Um, I did the wheel and wells um, in a satin white. So that's going to look really nice. Um, but uh, what I really want to talk about is I'm going to be doing some really cool exhaust tips on here. Um, so the first thing I did is it kind of has these turn down tips um, that were right here in front of the back bumper. Um, and then I just uh, shaved those flush because what I'm going to do is take this pretty large diameter um, aluminum tubing. Like this is what I normally use for axles and sometimes like um, gasser headers is this size. So this is quite a bit bigger. So these are um, what I'm going to use for the tips. Uh, and I've done this on like at least two or three cars before. So we'll have those um, kind of stick out past the bumper a little bit. And then I'll slash cut them. And then I'll use the smaller um, diameter tubing to kind of come in into the exhaust tip. And then I'll bend it. In the same shape as the stock one i'm just going to run it on top and then i'll leave the rest of the factory exhaust and just kind of detail that out but i just kind of wanted to show and explain a little bit um as far as what i'm doing for the um, rear of the exhaust and basically how i'm going to do that and then uh, you'll see it when it's all done um so basically all I have left to do on the chassis is just finish detailing the bottom side, do the exhaust, uh, like detail the headlights out and stuff. And then um, on my body, like we talked about, um, we're just leaving the factory paint job. I just got to detail out the uh, taillights and then I'm going to do like the wipers and um, that's probably about it on the body. Um, so not much left to do at this point. So I think the next time you're going to see the car will be at the final unveil of this thing. So we'll see you there. All right, gang, it's time for the final unveil on our custom lead sled 59 Caddy. Thing turned out super cool. It was already a really awesome car from Hot Wheels to begin with. I really like this casting, and this is probably my favorite paint job to come on this casting. It has this super cool... Um, kind of tribal um, tiki pinstripe job on the top of the car uh, like you see in the beginning of the video and the awesome um, purple paint job on it we threw some uh, hot wheels steel wheels with white walls on it uh, which are some of my favorites to do on some of these old style customs and hot rods just because they have a real kind of neat um, industrial vintage look to them and they really give um, some attitude to whatever you're doing. Um, otherwise, on the exterior of the car, I detailed out the headlights. Just add a little bit of white to them to make them pop. As you can see, we did the interior out in a nice uh, white and black two-tone, um, which really pops with the purple. Looks real classy, real nice. Um, the car had a nice low stance to it to begin with from Hot Wheels, so I didn't do anything with that. Um, detailed out the taillights and then as you can kind of see sticking out on the back of the car um, like I talked about did some really neat exhaust I was originally going to do like some real kind of big um, kind of ridiculous like oversized flamethrower tips on the back um, but because of the way it, the back of this car is and just the stance of it and everything it just did not look right I actually did the whole thing had it on there and everything and it just looked not good to me uh so i went and just did the whole thing um the same diameter um exhaust and then just kind of slash cut the tips and i think it it just looks a lot better that way as you can see it kind of has to hang down um and then i had the tubes going into the tips this size and then the tips were the bigger size and it was just too much just did not look good so I'll get a piece of paper towel down here and uh, we'll show you the underneath of this car because it looks really nice 
Um, I just wanted a real nice classy um, kind of show car look to the underneath of it. Um, like we talked about, I did the uh, wheel wells out in a nice satin white, which really helps to pop with the purple. And then everything else um, is gloss black. Uh, and I left the mufflers, the tranny, the engine, and all the front suspension chrome. Um, just to kind of go along with the show car look of this. Did the gas tank out in the silver. And then you can see the exhaust that I did in the back. Looks real nice and clean. Um, just really happy with the look of this whole car in general. Um, just really a nice, clean lead sled 59 caddy um this car comes from hot wheels with shaved door handles a chopped roof a low stance so you really can't go wrong with this thing it's just a really cool car if you guys dig it give it a thumbs up let me know what you think if you dig what we're doing here maybe hit that subscribe button if you haven't already thank you for watching all the videos thank you for all the support and everything i really appreciate it a lot um, but stick around for some more pictures of the caddy. Otherwise, get out working on your own projects. Get your hands dirty. Stay cool. We'll see you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.